In this video, we are going to demonstrate an interesting case of Veru Montanum calculus. A 24 year old male presented with chief complaints of voiding and storage LUTs for last 10 months, post ejaculatory discomfort, vibratory sensation in perineum sometimes, burning micturation on and off, LUTs in form of poor flow, straining, intermittency, frequency, urgency, no fever, vomiting, hematuria, there was no history of surgery. He was married and had a child, examination was absolutely normal, the bladder was not palpable, external genitalia and digital rectal examination was normal. Investigation part, the routine blood investigations, urine analysis, urine culture, semen culture was also sterile, ultrasound, upper tracts were normal, uh, bladder was having normal wall thickness, prostate normal, PVR of 52 ml, x-ray KUB did not show any radio opaque shadow. Multiple times uroflometry was done and uh, it showed a poor flow of urine. He was evaluated and treated at multiple places uh, with differential diagnosis of high bladder neck, chronic prostatitis, chronic pelvic pain syndrome. He received alphujocins, different antibiotic combinations, symptomatic treatment, antidepressant drugs, behavioral therapy. However, there was no improvement. So, uh, based on the clinical findings and suspicion, we performed a CT scan to rule out any ureteral calculus because sometimes a small ureteral calculus can cause these symptoms and uh, it is not uh, easily identifiable on ultrasound or X-ray KUB. So, the CT scan report was showing a 5.2 mm calcification in the prostatic area. Here we can see the in CT images that there is a small calcification in the prostatic area in the midline. So based on the CT findings, we thought of performing a uh, cystoscopy. This is the cystoscopic view, uh, which was done with the help of 17 French sheath and 30 degree telescope. Anterior urethra was normal, the bladder neck was okay. Here we can see the bladder, there was no obstructive changes, both the ureteric orifices were normal, the trigonal area was absolutely normal without any inflammation. So on cystoscopy, we could not find anything, uh, we checked the urethra where the position of that calcification or calculus is there, but the cystoscopy was normal. When the cystoscopy was normal, we thought of here we can see that uh, the bladder neck and varumentinum is okay. So based on the CT scan finding, we thought of uh, examining varumentinum with the help of ureteroscope. So we took a 6 7.8 French ureteroscope, semi rigid, and this is the ureteroscopic view of the urethra. This is the varumentinum. bladder neck this is the verum antenna. now we are uh, entering into the verum antenna. as soon as we entered what we found was a, a small calculus that was lying inside the verum antenna. so this calculus was creating symptoms of post ejaculatory disturbance Sometimes the patient was saying that he is having vibratory sensation in the perineum, especially after ejaculation. So as this stone was very small, we removed this stone with the help of forceps only. Uh, we did not use laser to fragment this stone. If we had not done a ureteroscopic evaluation, we would not have known the cause of his symptoms. So, learning point in this case is that whenever we are suspecting some uh, midline calcification or calculus in the urethra, we can examine the verumontanum also with the help of the ureteroscope. And a CT scan can be done when a patient present with these uh, symptoms, especially a young patient. Postoperatively, patient was completely free of ejaculatory discomfort, 
or vibratory sensation and the flow was also improved thank you for patient listening